Okay, today we will be trying to find the derivative by t the limit process. The first thing you will need to know is what a derivative of a function looks like. And it looks like this. So we have f prime of x equals as the limit of h goes to 0. We have f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So now we have the equation f of x equals x squared minus x plus 5. So we're going to have to plug that in. So we take this, and we plug it in. Actually, we take this, and we plug it in there. To each one of those x's, I take that and we plug it into there. So it's going to look like this. x plus h squared minus x plus h plus 5 minus x squared minus x plus 5. This is going to be all over h. Okay. This is going to be as the limit of h goes to 0. All right. So now we're going to have to distribute distribute, FOIL, factor it out, and stuff. So let's do that right here. The limit of h goes to 0. So we're going to get from that x squared, the x plus h squared, we're going to get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x minus h, distributing the negative, plus 5. And it's going to be minus x squared minus, or plus x minus 5, distributing the negative all over h. Now we're going to cancel some of these out. So we're going to write this down here to zero. And we're going to see, let's see, the fives. The x squares. The x's. So we're left with 2xh plus h squared minus h all over h. You can see all the h's. So we're going to cancel those out. Which is going to leave us with the limit, which goes to 0. It's going to be 2x plus h minus 1. Oops. That's what's going to be left right there. So now the last step is to plug in the 0 for h. So we're going to have 2x plus 0 minus 1, which is going to go to 2x minus 1 as your answer. And that is it. Quite simple. Once you uh, figure out everything. <laughs> so I bid you adieu.